load the ribbon and retransfer film in the XID 580i retransfer printer. First open the door. There's a small lever at the very top of the door. Push the lever to the right and as you do support the door as it comes down. Be careful not to put any weight or press down on this door as it may damage the hinges. There are two cartridges inside the XID 580i. The green cartridge is the retransfer film cartridge. The yellow cartridge is the ribbon cartridge. The cartridges are removed by simply pushing down on the aqua green button that's above each cartridge. When removing the cartridge, pull straight out gently and then set the cartridge down on its base. Be sure that you never set it down on the poles as this may damage or bend the poles which would make the film or retransfer film feed inconsistently. To remove the yellow ribbon cartridge, the button is at the very top, slightly hidden from view. Push the button down and again pull out gently and set the cartridges on their base. The retransfer film and ribbon for the XID 580i come in boxes. And each box includes a plastic bag that holds the ribbon or retransfer film. The bag can be separated and pulled away and discarded. Around both the ribbon and the retransfer film, you'll find a polyester band that holds the material together. This band can be removed either with scissors or just by slipping the band off. But it is tight and it takes a lot of pressure to slip it off. You'll notice that the retransfer film has two different color spools. The supply side, or the larger side, has a green spool and the take-up spool is black. This corresponds to the retransfer cartridge itself, which has both a green spool and a black spool. When loading the retransfer film, it's important that you do not unroll the take-up spool side. Notice that as I unroll it, I get down to the end of the roll, and there are three panels that have been pre-wound at the factory on the take-up spool side. Please ensure that these panels remain wrapped on the take-up spool side during loading. So to load properly, Make sure that the retransfer cartridge is sitting on a solid surface and load from the take-up spool side first. Push straight down to lock in place and with your left hand hold the retransfer take-up spool side solid so that it can't move. Then bring the supply side around and push down to lock in place. You'll notice that the film is now hanging very loosely and you want to make sure it's tight before it's actually loaded into the printer. To tighten it, turn the film the cartridge around backwards and you'll notice two knobs. These knobs actually have arrows that show you which way to turn them. So you can turn the knobs and tighten the film as you do. When you first load a brand new roll of retransfer film, go ahead and roll up about two more patches onto the take-up spool side to ensure that there's enough material there to unwind and rewind as the printer initializes. The retransfer cartridge has a graphic that shows you how to load the material and on the graphic you'll notice a red arrow. The red arrow is pointing to an area where you want to line up one of the black retransfer timing marks. To do so, just turn the knob on the back until the mark comes into position. Ensure that the film is tight and not hanging loose and then installation is just the reverse of removal. Always go in gently and push to snap.